2022 North Dakota Lions All-Star Basketball Series player profile. Now with us from Bismarck High School, that is Peyton Gerving. And uh, Peyton, for you, just to get nominated your senior season here to an All-Star festivity game uh, like this across North Dakota, what does it mean to you? Yeah, it just means a lot. Um, I mean, I'm kind of honored, I guess, but just to play with some of the best players in the state and get to play one more high school game is pretty cool. You know, for Class A, Class B, have you heard of the rivalry before uh, a lot? And are you trying to go out there and show that, hey, you know, Class A maybe is the better brand of basketball, so to speak? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we definitely want to win, and it'll be cool to get and play against a lot of girls that I've never really um, seen much, so that'll be fun. For you specifically, um, it kind of brings different places of North Dakota together a little bit here. Uh, there might not be one particular player, but what are you most looking forward to or what are you most looking to gain out of these next couple of days and also the games from this Lion All-Star Series, Payton? Um, I'm just excited to get um, new coaches, new players, and, you know, just play with girls, see how they like to play and just kind of get a new perspective, lots of different girls from different teams. So it'll be fun to just see all the different playing styles and, just lots of girls coming together. It should be fun. For you specifically, uh, where are you going to college? What's your next uh, chapter in life, uh, so to speak, coming up in August and September? Yeah, I'm going to Mary next year here in Bismarck, and I'm going to major in nursing. So what made the University of Mary uh, just be the right fit for you specifically, Peyton? Um, mostly just the nursing program. Um, I've taken some classes in high school, and I know a lot of girls that have gone there. So um, I've just heard a lot of good things about it. So. For favorite basketball memory, does one stand out more than the other, maybe during your time at uh, VHS or maybe something that you've done on a traveling circuit as well? Anything kind of come to mind here, Peyton? Um, I definitely just say making it to state my senior year. Um, VHS hadn't made it for like five or six years, and I hadn't made it. So just making it to state that final year was pretty cool. For you specifically, what did you learn from maybe some of your coaches during your time at BHS that you just kind of hope to take with you, so to speak, off the court moving forward? Um, I think my coaches really helped me with confidence a lot. Um, they just, they never really tried to change me as a player, I guess. So just trying to um, just get the best out of me. They pushed us a lot. And so I just think they really helped me be the best player I could. And the cool thing maybe for you is there's one more dance, so to speak, or one more swan song at Bismarck High with this series being at Davies and BHS. Uh, so last thing here in terms of, you know, kind of uh, reminiscing a little bit, what does it mean to have another chance to at least represent BHS on your home floor one more time as a demon? Yeah, when I saw the BHS, I got pretty excited. Um, it was sad, you know, playing our last game during the season, but now that I get one more chance, I'm just, I'm actually really excited to play there one more time. And I mean, hopefully we can go with a win and on a win in the gym, but yeah. For you uh, here too, was there superstition at all before a game? Did you have to put the left shoe on before the right shoe or, you know, anything of that nature before you finally got to an opening tip, Peyton? No, um, I was pretty chill about it. I never really did anything crazy. Um, I, yeah, I just was pretty basic. We just listened to music, got dressed, and then I would always go out and like watch the end of the JV game and come back in and talk with our team, but I didn't really have anything special. For you specifically, your final thing, advice for future players. If you got to go back and talk to someone who's in middle school or someone who's getting into the high school and wants a chance to play it, you know, at the JV varsity level, what would be some words of wisdom that you would just kind of give them to have a chance maybe be in your shoes, so to speak, in three, four years down the line and play an all-star game like this? Yeah, the one thing I guess would be um, just to kind of stick it out. Like maybe you aren't the best player for freshman year and maybe don't make varsity, but just keep working hard and stick it out and your chance will come. And then I always tell people, but just don't let one mistake affect how you play. I mean, that's something I worked on all throughout high school, but one mistake at the beginning of the game shouldn't affect the second half or the rest of the game. So just to let it go and keep playing hard every game. Hey, uh, Payne, thanks so much for your time. Uh, best of luck here in the Lions All-Star Basketball Series and moving forward at the University of Mary as well. Thank you.